I'm on the phone with David Ballmer, mobile HTML developer, HTML5 developer, advocate from Phoenix, Arizona. Dave, good afternoon, and thanks for agreeing to the call. Oh, thank you, Bill. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks. You know, I'm real, real impressed. Your first website in 1994. Good for you. Yeah, don't know if I can remember no. that far back, but... Uh... <laughs> I can relate to that. Hey, how about looking forward uh, for us? Trends for 2014 for web professionals. What are you uh, seeing or hearing that, uh, that web professionals could uh, benefit from? One of the things I'm noticing is uh, sort of a, um, a merging, if you will, um, between you know, uh, mobile web and desktop web. Um, the You know... When mobile started to get big with uh, even before the smartphones, you know, it was really common for a lot of sites to have a special mobile only portal into their website. And I'm seeing that um, I'm seeing that uh, that's trending that, that that's actually going away. You know, a lot of developers are, you know, with uh, responsive design, you know, on the on the UI side. And I think that's kind of, you know, one of the big things is, is um, you know, it's it's sort of mobile went away for a while and, and now it's it's it's. Uh, it's all coming home. And on the plus side of that, I'm seeing a lot of developers that have, you know, sort of taken the lessons learned from uh, developing for mobile, that is keeping things small, you know, responsive to different things, you know, different sizes, uh, different form factors of devices, and even uh, touch-friendly UIs, and sort of bringing all that goodness, you know, back in and, and sort of uh, revitalizing their, their desktop presence. Mobile application or mobile website or both? Yeah, um, so I think that uh, there are some sites that are so purely content-driven, I think that they're still going to consider what they do a website. Um, but, you know, I'm really seeing, and and I have to say, with a lot of things, uh, the game industry is sort of uh, leading the way with, with this. I'm, but I'm seeing a lot of really advanced, you know, client-side uh, interactivity that's being produced. It's more like, uh, you know, what we call an app or, you know, uh, a native game, uh, but uh, living inside the browser. And I think that's, you know, that's been a dream of mine for some years now. And uh, I think, you know, with all, even with all the controversy that's gone back and forth between web and native, I think that, uh, you know, this is a, 2014 is a really good year uh, to be a web developer. Um, yeah, yeah, no kidding. Well said. In fact, advocate. How would you define your role as an advocate? Oh, I guess uh, as an advocate, um, a lot of it has to do with, uh, you know, uh, research, developing myself, uh, gaining a lot of experience, and then uh, being willing to, you know, share that uh, experience and expertise with others. Um, I think that's, to me, the, the primary role. The secondary role is, you know, occasionally when, you know, we have you know, some sort of uh, big debate that comes up in the development community, um, you know, just to sort of uh, add my voice to, you know, supporting that, look, the web is here. Um, it does a very good job at, at uh, the things that it does, and the things that it's able to do uh, gets better every year. Yeah, yeah, well said. In fact, let's uh, sh shift gears to HTML5 a bit since you sure. cover that topic quite a bit. What, what's your thoughts on HTML5 for the new year. I mean, as far as far as I'm concerned, it's 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 already here. I mean, 2013 has been a, a really good year for it. But uh, some of the things that that I'm seeing, you know, one of my favorite websites to go to is is a site called uh, HTML5Test.com, and what it does is uh, basically you just go there and and it and uh, it assesses all of the capabilities that your browser has, and it does this with everyone else who's gone there with every other version of every other browser. And what it does is it uh, sort of compares and contrasts, and it comes up with um, uh, a score based on different features that are supported by um, each of the browsers. And they do this for, you know, mobile. They do it for desktop. And um, their theoretical limit is uh, 500, which sounds kind of arbitrary, but it, it, it's actually a, a pretty decent comparison. And what I'm seeing is um, all the browser vendors that even um, even this year, earlier this year, were down around, you know, 200, 250, you know, 300s. They're really starting to get up there. Uh, on the desktop side, you actually have uh, the latest versions of Chrome exceeding the 500 limit because there are some sort of um, extra credit features, if you will, that, that they also recognize. Uh, and even on the mobile side, um, Android's getting better. iOS is lagging a little bit considering that they're... Uh, 
sort of long lead uh, on the mobile side. Um, but then you see other vendors that uh, I think have put a lot of heat, uh, particularly on the mobile side. Uh, BlackBerry, uh, with their BlackBerry 10 browser, I think it's between them and uh, I think Tizen, uh, which, of course, you know, Tizen is, is, is very, very new. Um, in fact, I, I don't know anyone who has a, a, in the wild a Tizen device yet. Uh, but even still, you know, they're right up there near the uh, near the cap and uh, more than comparable with, with most desktop browser experiences. Great insight. Yeah, so one of the things that uh, has really been on my radar for some, for some years, um, and I think 2014 might be the year for it, is uh, WebGL. For those that, that aren't familiar with it, basically it's bringing accelerated 3D um, Comparable to native, comparable to what you'd see on a game console or, or a lot of the 3D uh, you know, games that you can get on, on your devices uh, inside the browser. Um, now, that's been in development on a few browsers for some years now, and it's starting to gain a lot of traction on the desktop. Um, you know, one of the bellwethers for me is whether or not uh, something cool actually makes it into uh, uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, it turns out IE11 uh, has support for WebGL, and... Uh, so does Safari and, and Chrome and a lot of the usual suspects. But it's also starting to trickle over onto, onto mobile. Uh, BlackBerry, Tizen um, also support it. Uh, Firefox OS, um, which is relatively new as well. Um, but, yeah, I think it's, it's uh, really interesting. Um, and I think it's definitely something that uh, um, web developers, especially that are trying to create really unique experiences on the web, um, should at least be keeping a really close eye on this year. Well, we appreciate all that you uh, do on behalf of the web professional workforce, your advocacy, your expertise, and most definitely for your time today.